Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0, the realism overhaul suite of mods for Kerbal Space Program. Uh, one day I'm going to get that whole introduction correct. Uh, we're just off the heels of Val's successful orbital flight and now we're going to see what kind of contracts we've got available to us. Um, I spent a bunch of money building rockets and things like that because uh, in something like a hundred days we're gonna take a four hundred thousand dollar hit for two failed contracts to fly by Venus and fly by Mars as you can see here uh, other current contracts on the book are the first hum are a single person low earth orbital mission which now was not available to us before but is now uh, the payouts not great won't even cover the cost of the rocket really but uh, every little thing helps. This is the good one, however, is the first spacewalk. Uh, Val did do this on her first flight, but now we have a contract to do it, which is cool. They'll give us another 125 grand. That will certainly cover the flight. As far as available contracts, we've got a few interesting ones. Crewed lunar flyby is one hell of a payout. That would mitigate the loss on those other two contracts just by virtue of its completion. And give us a million surplus. Uh, 730 days to complete. I think we'll just go ahead and take that one. And these are 90 days, which I don't think the rocket will be done by then. The uh, That being the Omega that I built in the last uh, speed build episode. But something I can do in the meantime explains supersonic. Uh, okay, between 415 and 615 meters per second at an altitude between 11.025 and 13.025. I think I have just the thing for that. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. <coughs> ah, excuse me. And we'll jump out here to our space plane hangar. Like I said, I think I have just the thing. No, Bill, I'm sorry. You don't get to, you know, get to do that one. We're going to have to take Val again. Because she is our only pilot after the death of Jeb, tragically, to my own stupidity. This is the PLX-2, which as soon as it's done loading, I'll be able to show off to you. Alright. And stabilizing physics load, there it is. Let's just turn the brakes on for a second, which won't work because I have friction control disabled. Alright. PLX-2 is carried aloft by six, or is carried aloft, I should say, by four of those Derwent 5 engines. We'll go ahead and start to spool up now, get ourselves rolling a little bit down the runway, if albeit a little sideways-ish. Itself has uh, six of these XLR-11s, I think they are, yes. The uh, Bell X1 uh, engines times six. Uh, now this is considerably heavier than our first attempt with this kind of thing, again swimming through the concrete. So we have solid rocket boosters to go ahead and hopefully not spin us around. Oh god, we're going to hit the light. Okay, we're airborne gear. Let's push those solids. They all fall away in a great big chunk. Awesome. But, we made it to the air! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, carpet bombing ain't got nothing on me! Alright. So, I'm probably going to speed up and post. We're going to fly out a quite a distance, turn around, and then start our speed run. Uh, because I would like to actually attempt a runway landing with this one. It has all of its own landing gears, unlike the uh, RPLX-1. So it is fully capable of doing its own runway landing. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, enjoy the beautiful sunrise on this crisp December morning in Florida. And I will see you guys when we're about to make our run.
All right, this seems about far enough. Whoa, let's uh, keep it on prograde there, buddy. So we're gonna go ahead and do our about face. going to be shedding off some of that altitude. All right. So keeping the speed in that 200 meter per second window, 415 to 615, is going to be the challenge. We're already at altitude, so all we have to do really is fly straight and keep our speed. Uh, these engines are throttleable, so maybe it'll work. Uh, man, I really hope so. We are pretty far out from Cape Canaveral, so I'm hoping that uh, we'll make it back. But we do have parachutes, and this aircraft has a pretty impressive glide scope. So we will see how well this works out for us. All right. We'll go ahead and try to get ourselves level. I would like to be at 12,000, but we can always make that altitude back. So. Let's go ahead and light this puppy, shall we? In three, two, one. Ignition. And we are going. Let's keep the nose up, Val. And we are within the range. And we just need to maintain somewhere between this and 615. At altitude. Still accelerating a bit much. All right, we're about at the low end of our throttle, so. Uh, all right, we gotta keep it below 13 kilometers three minutes of this, huh? Oh, careful, Val, careful. Man. Okay. Hold it right here. This is perfect. How much time do we have left? Two minutes. That was one minute. My God. We're almost out of fuel. I don't know if we're going to be able to handle this. Oh, God. Getting too high. Shit. That's probably too high. Please tell me that didn't reset the counter. That re... Fuck that reset the counter. Look at shit. For too much altitude. And now too much speed. Maybe if we just keep the throttle nice and low. We need to get that altitude back. Uh -huh. Alright, I would like to just keep it right around 12. Come on, Val, you can do this. You're the only ace we have. And therefore the best. And there goes the dog barking. Greatest apologies. We're going to come up here on engine burnout, and I don't think we're going to be able to... I don't think we've got the time. I'm going to try to get some altitude and some speed, so we've got more to bleed off. And that's it. That's all she wrote.
Uh, I think we just ran out the clock there, too. Damn it! Uh, we had like a minute 25 left to go. Which is... God, that makes me so angry. This thing will push 1,100 meters per second in testing, anyway. And it did pretty easily, so trying to stay below that upper limit is really just frustrating. Oh, it's so frustrating. Well, that was, well, hopefully not an expensive failure. We do have parachutes, so if uh, Val needs to, we can always uh, mission abort. But we're going to go ahead and try to bring her home the uh, old-fashioned way. Which is going to be really interesting with frictionless wheels. So we'll just have to, uh, we'll see how that shakes out. Oh, I didn't even check. Did these side tanks get used? Okay, good. They did. So we'll probably be speeding this part up in post, at least until we get closer to the runway, because I know how exactly exciting it is to watch an aircraft just kind of sit here suspended, doing next to nothing. And turns out I did fly out probably uh, a bit too far. But, you know, we got lots of speed that we can bleed off. Whereas... The PLX-1, I did not fly out nearly far enough, but I flew out until those Derwents ran out of fuel and then just turned it around on a glide and came back. Okay, yeah, we're totally going to make it. I should actually probably not be this high, but man, this thing just sails so well. I don't typically show the uh, the build footage of aircraft because there's so much just testing and exploding and testing and then exploding and like just getting this thing ready was about a three hour endeavor that yeah could have been condensed yeah, through uh, the magic of editing but just didn't really seem didn't seem like it was worth it in all honesty because it's building airplanes is, takes a lot more than building rockets, I have to say. Uh, I don't think realism overhaul is really set up for running airplanes. I could be wrong. And way too low. Alright, come on, Val. I need you to stick it. Oh, my goodness. I'm still in. No, I'm not. Wow. All right, we're going to loop around for another pass. Since we've got a million years of speed. That really felt like I was still in time warp. That bounce and that shimmy. Still just so much speed in this thing. It's like it was designed to go Mach 3. It doesn't really look at the shape of this thing would probably not handle the uh, shock, sonic shockwave very well, but... You know, that's why this is Kerbals, and not reality. Alright. Uh, we may be coming in a bit ahead of the runway. See if we can't bring some of this back. Flare. All right. All right, Val. That's too much showing off. Come on. There you go. Nice and steady. Bounce. Man, the shock rate on these things. Bounce. And, wow, what's with all the bouncing? <laughs> yep, and just stand on those brakes. And she stuck it. 
That's a successful mid-concrete landing and a contract not fulfilled. But I, it was a good uh, proving grounds. Maybe next time we'll just lay on the throttle and see exactly how fast this thing can go. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. All that will have to wait till next time. Until then, I will see you later.